hey everyone i am back with another video this time we're going to be doing some flat twists i blew my hair out a couple of days ago and i'm just not ready to let it go so i'm going to try to revamp it today so right now i'm just prepping my hair for the twist i've sectioned it off i want to do chunky twists to me it doesn't matter how big or how little i do my parts or my sections the twists when i unravel them they always come out the same i'm not really one to take a comb and part my hair because i feel like when you make harsh parts with a comb it's really hard to get get the part out when you want to fluff your hair out so right now i'm just going to take this main choice the ancient egyptian oil anti-breakage oil it is so good and especially because my hair has been super dry lately as you can see like on the ends my hair is brown like a light brown and the roots are dark brown um that's all my new growth that's coming in and i am using the cream of nature pure honey twisting cream i have the exact name in the description box below now, I am not one to explain flat twisting very well. It's just something that you're going to have to watch me do. Um, but I'm going to try to explain it the best way that I can. If you know how to scalp braid, then flat twisting should be very simple for you. Instead of taking three strands of hair, you're only going to take two. And I'm just twisting it under each other, under each strand. And then taking my fingers and de pulling the hair through. So making sure that I have a clean sweep. When you see me get on the other side of my hair, it'll be... It's better, you'll see what I'm doing, but because I'm on the left side, I believe, I have to go over my head. I can't like do it in the front, it's weird. But just keep watching and I'm sure you'll get it. At this point, I'm just taking some more of the cream and adding it to my ends. If your hair feels dry, don't be afraid to add more, more product because that's what you want. You want your hair to be moisturized. And since I'm only using one product, I have to really make sure that I'm working it into my ends. And this product is amazing. It's so moisturizing. And it gave my hair a shine. In addition to the oil that I use, this product right here, it left my hair so soft. At this point, I am just continuing to twist my hair to the very end. And there you go. You have a flat twist. Like I said, I am not focused on the parts because I don't want it. I don't want to have a tough time when it comes to fluffing it out. So on this side, you really see what I'm what I'm getting ready to do. So I just spray my hair, working that in. I'm going to use the oil and then I'm going to go in with the cream. Now you want to take two pieces of hair in the section that you're doing. And now I'm just twisting forward. I'm taking the two pieces of hair and twisting them underneath each other. And as I twist, I'm pulling the hair down so I can continue to grab a clean piece of hair every single time. So twisting over, pulling down, twisting over, pulling down. And as you can see on this side, it's so much clearer than my other side because I can take it and be on top of the hair if that makes sense and i have my hand all over the place that's why i rarely ever do flat twists because let me tell you little arms and flat twists they don't really mix and remember add more product to the ends if you need it because that is the oldest part of your hair and you want to make sure that you keep that moisturized So right here, I'm going to zoom in so you can really see how the flat twist is going. Let me know if you want another tutorial on flat twisting because I'll do it on somebody else and then really zoom in and detail it as I'm doing it. So let me know. I can definitely do that for you guys. Thank you. 
I am all finished. In total, I did eight twists. Like I said, I don't like to do super skinny flat twists. I like chunky twists because when I unravel my hair, it really doesn't matter. Like it, it goes the same way anyway. So right now I'm taking my lot of body edge control. This is how I set my edge control and this is the only way that it works for me. I tried to do it on dry hair, but it doesn't really, it doesn't really work. So what I do is I take my spray bottle and I have to wet my edges some and then go in and set them with the lot of body edge control. I'm not really an edge control fan, but today this edge control was doing it for me. I don't use any combs or brushes. I just use my fingers and my edges are laid. So I'm just gonna take my scarf and tie my edges up. I don't really focus too much on the back because flat twist, it never dries. I have a love-hate relationship with flat twists. They come out so pretty, but they just never dry. So I have to make sure they get in the most exposure to the elements as they can. So this is how I'm gonna sleep with my edges tied. This is the next day and can we just take a moment and appreciate all this shine and moisture that my hair has? I'm so pleased, so pleased. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my Ancient Egyptian um, anti-breakage oil and just run it through my twist. Not a whole lot, just enough so I don't have a lot of frizz. So I'm just rubbing it through. Now, I did not speed this part up purposely because I need you to see just how slow it is that I take my hair down. I start at the bottom and I kind of twist it a little with my hands and then I gently begin to unravel it. When you go in and just rake through your hair and unravel it really fast with flat twists, you are going to get frizz and all your hard work is gonna be in vain. So I'm just gently pulling apart the twist. And can we just see this definition? How do you get all this definition from one product? How? Creep of nature, I need answers. Cause y'all have the answers. I need them. I need them right now. I am like blown away. I'm so amazed by all this definition. And no frizz. Look at it. It, look like, it looks like my hair is still wet, but it's not. Trust me, I did not unravel my hair <laughs> when it was wet. So just, yeah, move on to the rest of your twists, but slowly unravel them. That is the key to making your styles last and to making them look popping on the first day. Don't rush the unraveling process. Take your time, okay? As you can see, I am really feeling this. So I'm just taking my hands and fluffing it out, gently fluffing it out. Now, let's touch these edges up. I'm just gonna take a scrunchie and I'm gonna put my hair in a pineapple. Not only is this going to allow me to get to my edges freely, it's going to help me stretch out my twists. 
I'm taking that same lot of body edge control and I'm just touching on my edges with my fingers. Since I preset my edges last night, I don't need to wet them because they're already they're already laid. I'm just, you know, giving them an extra zhuzh to make sure that they stay in place all day long. I am definitely pleased with how my edges have turned out, so I'm just gonna take my scrunchie down and continue to fluff my hair with my hands. Let me just say, you need these products. One product did all of this definition and made my hair super soft. Trust me, you can't beat it. I'm all about that simple life this summer. Ain't nobody got time for 50 million products. Mm -mm, not when one do the job. My hair is so shiny, so soft, like I said. Get you some of these products. I'm going to leave them in the description box below. Until next time, curls, stay fabulous and stay cool in this heat. <laughs> See you later.